Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, today we are going to be checking out the details for the newly announced Fizz LR Goku and Piccolo that exchanges into a solo Piccolo. Now, I'm not going to say that I predicted this, but it does make a lot of sense considering we're coming off the Dokkan Fest Raditz, right? So, with that said, let's jump right into it, and before we talk about their kit and their details, we'll start with their animations, which I haven't seen at all yet, so this will be my initial reaction. Okay, so I'm gonna throw on some headphones here, and here we go. Okay, so those are the animations for the Goku and Piccolo, and uh, honestly, as soon as the video started, right, my first thought was, man, they reused <laughs> the OST from the Int LR Goku and Piccolo, which I felt like was kind of lazy, and uh, as far as the animations go, um, they're good, they're good, but... Nothing special. I will say the uh, active skill looks great and the voice acting is phenomenal as always, right? But as far as the visuals, um, they don't get me that excited, but I guess it's also the source material not being um, too hype, right? It was very early in the series, it was very early in the anime, so I guess you can't really expect too much, right? It's kind of like the Fizz Raditz, who had some very clean animations, but to me, they were almost kind of like boring and basic. And it's the same deal with this unit, where the animations look great, but they just don't really get me that excited to summon for this unit, you know? So, of course, that's just me. That's just my personal opinion. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about it. I'm not saying they look bad. I'm just saying they're not super hype okay now moving on from there we have the details which i did take a look at before i started the video and they are significantly more exciting than the animations so uh first things first a big shout out to mina toes flash on twitter for posting these translations uh early this morning and we'll start here with the goku and piccolo first and then jump over to the uh, piccolo itself okay so leader skill is Saiyan Saga or Battle of Wits. Key plus, it says three, but it's actually supposed to be four. So key plus four, HP attack and defense plus 150%, 12 key super, raises attack and causes colossal damage, and this can be stacked infinitely. 18 key super greatly raises defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. Passive is attack and defense plus 100% plus an additional defense plus 200% when HP is 50% or more. Key plus 5, attack plus 90%, and guards all attacks for the first 5 turns from first appearance, performs an additional super attack after receiving an attack in the first slot, plus an additional attack plus 30% when performing an ultra super attack, and then plus an additional attack plus 70% when active skill 
is activated or when key is 24. Active skill conditions can be activated after receiving 7 or more attacks during battle or when HP is 50% or less after the 4th turn from start of battle once only. And the active skill effect is greatly raises attack temporarily, causes ultimate damage, nullifies enemies actions for one turn, and exchanges into Niccolo. Okay, so, um, first impressions, first impressions. This unit is very powerful. Uh, it is a really, really strong LR. I mean, just looking at the buffs here, for attack, you're getting 100% attack here. You're getting 90% attack for the first 5 turns. You're getting 30% more attack when performing Ultra Super. And then you're getting 70% more attack when active skill is activated or when key is 24. So you add all those up, that's almost 300% attack boost right there, right? And then for defense, we have 100% here. We have 200% for having more than 50% HP. So that's 300%, right? And then they also guard all attacks for the first five turns. So you combine the 300% defense with the guard, and they're gonna be almost untouchable. And of course, on the 18 key super, they're greatly raising defense for one turn. So that's another 50% defense right there. So uh, yeah, this unit's gonna be super, super tanky, even in slot one, because of course, this defense boost is not conditional to a super attack so they will be getting the full defense boost on their passive um, at the start of turn without having to attack which is great and um, oh also don't forget about the additional super attack after receiving an attack so they're getting this huge attack boost they're getting uh, two guaranteed supers if you take an attack first with a potential third super from the hidden potential system and since they are a fizz type unit they will be getting level 5 additional in their hidden potential system for free at 55%, right? So just a ton of great stuff going for this unit, man. A lot of attack, lots of defense, the additional super, um, the active skill. Uh, I will say the leader skill could be better considering we do have 200% leaders now. I was thinking maybe new LRs could get at least like 160 to 170%, but I guess it's fine. Not a huge deal, at least it's still key plus 4, and HP attack and defense plus 150% for 2 categories, so I'm not going to complain too much, but uh, yeah, the Goku and Piccolo just looking absolutely amazing. Now let's jump over to the uh, Fizz LR Piccolo, which is the exchange after you use the active skill, right? So uh, 12 key super raises defense and causes class of damage, and once again, this can be stacked infinitely. 18 key super massively raises attack for one turn and causes mega class of damage and passive is recovers 10% HP at the start of turn, key plus 3 and attack and defense plus 100% plus an additional key plus 3 and defense plus 100% when collecting 3 or more key spheres plus an additional attack plus 100% when performing an ultra super attack plus an additional attack plus 50% when HP is 50% or more when performing an ultra super attack, and then nullifies enemies' actions for one turn when key is 24. So the Piccolo is also amazing. I mean, you got the 10% heal at the start of every turn. You got up to six extra key. Uh, for the attack, you got 100% here, 100% here, and 50% here. So that's gonna be a ton of attack for him. And then for defense, you got 100% and 100%, so 200% defense, but of course, he can infinitely stack defense on the 12k super, so in longer events, he will become extremely tanky, even though he starts off pretty tanky already, and uh, the nullified enemy's actions for one turn is a nice touch, basically, it's um, kind of like the uh, 7th anniversary LRs, where, let's say, the enemy was supposed to attack you 5 times, instead, they'll attack you four times because you nullify one of those actions, right? And um, what else is there? I guess that's it. That's uh, all there is to it. Nothing too fancy, but just a very, very, very good unit. Both the uh, Goku and Piccolo as well as the Fizz Piccolo. Honestly, they could have been two separate units and I would have been fine with that, but instead, they combine them into one unit. That's why I like exchange units, because it kind of feels like we're getting a two-for-one deal, right? Like, when you pull an exchange unit, it almost feels like you're getting 
some kind of discount because you're getting two units for the price of one. And obviously that price could vary depending on how lucky you get. But the point is, I like exchange units and this one looks absolutely amazing. I mean, I can't speak to their performance in game because obviously I haven't had a chance to use them yet, but just on paper, they seem to be a top, top tier unit. Uh, I'm excited to see what kind of numbers they can put out, but um, it should be very, very good. So there you go, guys. That is the upcoming Fizz LR Goku and Piccolo slash Piccolo. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about them. But once again, like I said, uh, they look pretty busted on paper. And I think the performance will, you know, not disappoint, but we'll see. And uh, that's it. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, as always, if you enjoyed the video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.